Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and it's a nice sunny day. I have you know who with me. Hey everybody. And today we are over here at the brand new community by Pulte Homes called Monument. It's a brand new townhome community. Um, thought it would be kind of fun instead of just showing houses when we start out to actually show me, right? <laughs> Something different for a change. I need to step up my game, right? And as you know, I am your Summerlin expert. So we're gonna take a tour of the three model townhomes that they have in this community. Sit back and relax, let's go. All right, so the first floor plan that we're gonna take a tour of is the Branton. And um, they have a fourplex and a 16plex. They just opened up last weekend and they will have a community pool. It's gonna be gated. They're going to have a total of 168 townhomes in this community. And the monthly HOA is 125 for um, Monument and then $60 for Summerlin West. So this Branton floor plan, as you can see, is, uh, sorry, got to get a little organized here. We'll have three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and they all have two car garages. So I'm interested to see how this will look it's nice um no yards to maintain except for you will have a little patio right here can you open the door for me i got this big old gimbal in my hand after you my dear all right so as you walk in beautiful let me reel this back they have the looks like engineered hardwood floors light and bright with today's design trends, right? Looks like they went with the Navy cabinets in an island. And this has um, 1654 square feet, and I do believe this is the smallest floor plan. To reiterate, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two car garage at 1654 square feet. We're touring the Branton. I like that, it, you know, you have your own patio. Obviously, you're not gonna have these mountain views because um, eventually there's going to be other townhomes right in front of you. Let me see what else I can tell you about this community. They're going to be spec heavy. The soonest move-in is going to be in June. Um, and this is like the first time in over a decade that Pulte has done townhomes like this. And they do did release a fourplex, but all of them... Um, have reservations on it and I think that's about it so when you go oh so since they're going to be spec heavy that means that more likely what that means is all options have already been selected like cabinets flooring countertops backsplash etc and it's always nice I think because designers do an awesome job when it comes to selecting the options I think they do a fantastic job, right? Uh, I always advise my clients, sometimes it's cheaper to buy a spec home than it is to buy a home where you have to build from ground up. So they do have a nice pantry, good size pantry. And it looks like they just have the Whirlpool appliances with the stove and um, a large single basin sink right? Mm -hmm. And while we're here, we'll look at the sheet for the Branton and see if there's anything that we could change. Um, nothing looks like anything can be changed out in here. We'll go up to the second floor and check it out next. Um, looks like there's a little closet right here. Perfect. All right. and a half bath down here. Wow. Some interesting tile. Looks like a, probably a porcelain tile. Now, of course, you know, sometimes the spec homes won't have tile like that. Since this is a model home, it's gonna be really decked out. And it's funny because we have been keeping an eye on this community for a very long time. We have. And look, they did the orange peel on like the trademark Pulte walls. You're right. I like that they did the engineered wood flooring uh, as an accent right here. I like this carpet too. too. It's a good quality carpet. 
feels tight. Ah, uh, these feel like nine foot ceilings. So as you walk up, you have two bedrooms here. That looks like a bathroom, and then the primary is probably back there. So we're gonna go to the first bedroom to the right. Uh, this feels like probably maybe 12 by 12, maybe a little bigger. No, this one's more like a 12 by 12. Yeah. Now, all these can lights are usually extra upgrades. And to have the ceiling fan pre-wired, that's usually an upgrade as well. They kept the same navy cabinets, shaker cabinets. Now this is actually an upgraded culture marble. It's not a quartz. I've seen Pulte do this often. And I don't know if that's really soft clothes, mm -hmm. but they did do the tub shower insert right here. And that's cost effective, especially in the guest bathrooms. If you were to trick out a bathroom, obviously it would be the primary bathroom, right? Then you have another, that's nice, another closet, but I'm surprised it doesn't have shelves so you can have it as a linen closet. Yeah, they have the linen closet here. It looks like on this one. Oh yeah, you're right. So that's nice to have extra hanging storage. Mm -hmm. Then you have the laundry room here and with your smart panel right there. And the nice thing is, well not the nice thing is, when you buy new construction, typically the washer, dryer, and refrigerator are not included as the appliance package. So then you have the primary right here um, with a very good sized walk-in closet as well as Great balcony. View. If you can open that up, we'll look mm -hmm. at that after. And then here's the primary bathroom. They went with the 12 by 24 tile, the same cabinets and the same countertops as the guest uh, bathroom. They just did a typical shower and they upgraded it with the blue honeycomb tile and the same tile that's on the flooring. Nothing really fancy, but they did a nice job with it, as well as your toilet area. And then these have balconies. You can see the community. And as I'm talking, I'm going to show you the drone footage of this community. I have recently done a video last year, not too long ago, on Reverence, which is straight that way on the beautiful reverence community also by Pulte. So this monument is again in reverence and it's just an addition. This lot was vacant for a very long time. Now, because you have this balcony here, you're gonna have units in front of you. So there's no guarantee you're gonna have these mountain views, right? It's, we'll look at the other houses models down um, and see if we can tell the difference. Huh. What's the, there's a house right there. Oh, it's the Dalton. Oh, okay, I got it. Never mind. I figured it out. Okay, guys. So let us know in the comments what you think of this floor plan. It seems to me that up here in this part of Summerlin West, townhomes and three-story homes are very popular um, for affordability purposes. A lot of people are going this trend. Now, granted, this is going to be probably priced in the upper 400s, so this is a little higher than what you could find elsewhere in the valley. However, this is Summerlin, so Summerlin, you pay the price for living in Summerlin, right? So to summarize, we're taking a tour of the Branton at 1654 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two-car garage. I am your new home sales expert. I'm actually your Summerlin expert. Yes. I live and breathe Summerlin. You can check out my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com or call me 702-370-5112. If you're interested in buying in this community or anywhere in the Las Vegas Valley, we're going to go tour the other floor plans. So we'll see you on the flip side.